And it wasn't until I was probably 14, 15 when I was like, actually, I could probably make you know, a living of this. This could be a career potentially. Mo, how are you? Chris. Nice you to good? meet you. You good? You too as well. Good, good man. Today? Yeah, all good, mate, all good. Our right, first question is, uh, what inspired you to uh, take part in professional sport and what were, some of, what were some of the challenges you had to face along the way? I kind of just had this passion for cricket, I think, once I got to a certain age, probably my teenage years. There has been challenges throughout, throughout my, I suppose, growing up and playing sport. And, you know, I think that's something which I've, I've actually enjoyed as well, is kind of the setbacks and the knockbacks. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what inspired me, was kind of watching elite athletes do what they do. And it wasn't until I was probably 14, 15, when I was like, actually, I could probably make you know, a living of this. This could be a career, potentially. What advice would you give to students who would just be starting their sports journey and trying to become a professional? I've played with some of the best players in the world and against the best players in the world. And the ones that stand out from the rest are the ones that never stand still. Always looking to, you know, to get those small, you know, minor improvements. We always work on things that we're, we're not so good at sometimes, which is, which is obviously right. You know, you need to get your weaknesses better, but also make your strengths super strengths. Right. So what you're good at is continue to improve those as well so they don't stand still. And you can put that across the board, whether that be in a professional sporting background or from a business perspective or a work perspective, is being able to believe and trust in what you're, you're good at and going out and delivering it. I always had the vision of going to university. Um, yeah, I quite enjoyed physiotherapy and I still kind of have a bit of a, you know, I like the, the physiotherapy side of things of the sport background. I mean, if you want a space in the university, I'm sure there's a space for you in the sports <laughs> course. Hopefully I can teach you something and you can Absolutely. teach me something. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to that. Good man. What's your most memorable moment and why? The obvious most memorable moment that always comes to mind for me is, is obviously a really successful moment when we won the 2019 ODI World Cup uh, at Lords as an England team. Um, beating New Zealand in the final. How do you deal with uh, criticism and setbacks both on and off the field? It's something which over your career, uh, you know, at the age that I am now, I feel like I can deal with it pretty well. Um, you know, I know that it's part of the job that people are going to have their opinion. Try and take it as constructive as possible. Don't always see it as an attack on yourself. Um, maybe pick the bits which you feel, you know what, actually be honest with yourself, maybe I can be better at that. Yeah.